The T421 features an all new battery mounting system, which you can see in my car here. It's these plastic pieces here that you can turn by your hands and uh, you can easily take the battery in and out of the car. And it's also tape free, so you don't have to use uh, battery tape like in the past to mount the battery. Uh, it's fully adjustable and it fits uh, all types of batteries and it can also be used on previous models of the T4. And in this video I'll explain how to set it up and how to make sure you get the best performance out of these new parts. So to set up the new adjustable battery holders is really easy. Uh, I've just mounted them on the car here. It's worth mentioning that they can be used for the previous uh, T4 cars as well. Uh, they can be used together with, um, with the brass short G LiPo holders and they can be used with any battery height or width. Uh, but let's see how we can set them up from the basic setting. So, as you can see here, I already have the, the supplied uh, battery backstops mounted to the servo and to the, um, to the motor mount in the back. So the battery is already stopped from, from interfering with the drivetrain. But we need to set these up so that they are the correct height. You just turn these until, until they're snugly keeping the battery in place. It shouldn't be too tight, but it should just prevent the, uh, prevent the battery from moving upwards and downwards. So you just have to turn these a couple times until you have a nice fit but not too tight. So should shouldn't be moving upwards, but should still be moving freely. So there we have it. It's moving from side to side, but cannot move upwards. So it's very easy to take the battery out of the car and just turn these like this, your hands. Just take it in and out very quickly and easy to use. Next step is then to set the forwards and backwards play. You can do that easily by adjusting these set screw here, um, which they adjust the um, play for the battery. We have these little plastic stops at the front and the back. You can just adjust these until we have a little bit of play, uh, min minimal play, but uh, it cannot be too tight. If it's too tight, it's gonna affect the flex of the car during cornering and you don't want that. So make sure you always have a little bit of play from front to back to allow the car to flex and to not interfere with the, with the handling of the car that way. Um, we also have these carbon pieces that they hold the battery from the outside so we need to adjust those in the exact same way we need to make sure that we have a little bit of play but not too much free movement because we don't want the weight to be shifting around too much during cornering so so as you can see now we have free movement sideways from front to back but the battery is not moving upwards and that's how we set it up to work perfectly with the new battery mounting system and to have the benefits of a battery that's free floating but not binding up the chassis and thus affecting the flex. Keep in mind that if you add any uh, steel plate or such underneath the battery you need to adjust the height of the battery holders again so that you don't tweak the chassis by putting too much tension onto the battery.